One main purpose of this project was to reduce the length of stay at NUH for patients who are undergoing total knee replacement and total hip replacement surgery by streamlining the transfer processes from NUH to SLH. Patients can start rehab earlier and that means a faster functional recovery, the earlier communication of information regarding the entire care journey for them allows them to have more time to think through the process or this information and therefore to make informed decisions. The project aims to improve patient experience in financial counselling for planned admissions. This is achieved through our upcoming website, Admissions Buddy, where patients can do online financial transactions anywhere, anytime. We also streamline standardised and digitised information on the admission forms to ensure that the information from clinicians to patients and service providers is consistent. Now staff can spend more time serving patients because staff no longer have to clarify illegible forms, trays, transport or store the hard copies. With the digitization, we save about 56,000 man hours each year. With this new platform, the care cost form pictorially shows the estimated bill size and options to manage the cost. Beyond this, our patients also have the flexibility to refer to this information at their own convenience to decide or change their work time. is an appointment scheduling system which strived to coordinate care across different disciplines across the hospital. The aim was to coordinate care such that patients would seamlessly move from one care area to another. With EAS, TTSH has moved from appointment cards to appointment lists. This provides details for the future appointments, saves time and increases accuracy, improving patient care and self-satisfaction. If patients missed their appointments and needed to have their appointments rescheduled, this would be centrally coordinated throughout the entire system such that there would be no double booking of appointments and would bring convenience to the family as well as to the patient care. Our project involves the engagement of a trained nurse to monitor patients doing cataract surgery under topical anesthesia. The aim of this project is really to reduce the cost of a surgery for the patient, to reduce and shorten waiting time to get listed for surgery as well as to hasten their post-operative recovery. We are providing faster and cheaper eye care for patients without compromising quality and safety. This project proves that it is feasible and safe to have a trained nurse to monitor patients undergoing cataract surgery under topical anesthesia. The project has resulted in a reduction in the patient bill size by about 12%, as well as shortening the waiting time to be listed for cataract surgery by about two weeks. As care becomes more complex, we want nurses to be a stronger anchor in managing the complexity in healthcare. And so we wanted to upskill our nurses here, improve their competence uh, so that they can handle and improve patient care. So this is uh, it's about nurses going beyond conventional nursing. At the same time, the good work of nursing need not be done by nurses alone. We want to empower and, and skill up support care workers, uh, volunteers, informal caregivers. They've all been skilled up because we also look at the way surrounding their work and allow them to step up and do the higher grade tasks so that the good work of nursing can reach a wider uh, audience. So we call it Nursing Beyond Nurses. Productivity savings are in two forms. One, is that one of them is in time savings. Um, we want to remove waste from the system and improve uh, nurses' availability to patients as well as the presence and improve direct patient care time. Secondly, we also look at the support care workers that support nursing work, uh, like our enrolled nurses, like our patient service associates, and train them and uh, remove waste from them and then train them to upskill them so that they can practice at the top end of the license. Uh, and then the cost of labor will also be reduced.
Medical Ambulatory Centre was established primarily to shift care of our patients to an ambulatory setting. In a busy hospital like TTSH with finite bed resources, appropriate disposition of our patients will ensure optimal utilisation of inpatient beds. AIBMU Artificial Intelligence Bed Management Unit looks into automation, IT, robotic innovation, which initiated looking in automation of the appointment scheduling system. It looks into the process, bed management and bed utilization, which analyzed through the use of a customized IT system. This has translated to 7,074 bed days, saving for patients, hospitals, and also effective utilization of the manpower, such as a savings of 50 minutes of the doctor's time for nurse-led discharges. Our patients benefit because everything can be done faster now. All processes, including care and treatment, can be completed within a day. This reduces costs markedly because they don't need to be treated as an inpatient. IT is enabled of this transformative process and strives to do more with less. I think the most important in trying to implement a very large system like this would be to ensure that the system is patient-centric. We need to commit to improving patient care, aspire to new treatment paradigms and management protocols, revolutionise to go beyond the norm, and in engaging collaborators as a team to ensure the project come to fruition. Although this is daunting, challenging, but it's at the same time very satisfying and rewarding and there are very tangible benefits, not just to the patient, families, but to the healthcare setting at the same time. I would encourage everyone to look at existing work processes which would deliver more value to our patients. This also removes redundant and wasteful steps. The success of this project has spurred our entire care team to do even more for our patients and further initiatives on enhanced patient care are now in place. It's all about meaningfulness of job as well when it comes to productivity gain. It's not about uh, looking at time savings alone, it's about looking at uh, ways to enable the jobs to be more meaningful when we redesign the job. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's about better people, better care.